Hello, everyone, and welcome to San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. Today we have Chad Basinger with us. How's it going, Chad? It's going great. Yeah. Thanks thank for asking. Yeah, thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. So I have a question for you. Hopefully I have an answer. <laughs> Should I price my home in this market below, at, or above market value, and why? You know, that's a really, really good question. And like most questions in life, the answer is usually it depends. In this particular situation, I don't usually ever advise listing a home below market value, especially in a seller's market, because what you're going to get is an abundance of activity, which is maybe what you want to get it, but you're going to get so many offers and you're going to be overwhelmed, and naturally the price will get bid up. But I don't think that's the right strategy. And as far as listing it above market value, I also don't think that that's the right play because you might exclude people who would otherwise look at your property, whether it's online or in person. So you might exclude them, and then they don't get involved in the transaction. So I don't think listing it above is the right play. And now, so now you're thinking, of course, well, it has to be at market value. So what I think the key really is, is to figure out what the market value is. Mm -hmm. And of course, by definition, market value is what a willing buyer is willing to pay for and what a willing seller will sell it for, and then those pass cross. So figure out what it's actually worth, and then of course people say, well, what, what are the comps? Well, sometimes the comps don't matter, especially in this market, because if someone's willing to pay more than what the comps are, then the comps don't really have any relevance. So figure out what it's worth, and then figure out what the best pricing strategy is mm -hmm. once you figure out what the property is worth. So let me just give you a quick example. Let's just say you, from your research and everything, you think that the property is worth $675,000. Now, does it make sense to price that $675,000? I would say no. I think a better strategy is probably six fifty dollars to seven hundred. dollars Some people are opposed to ranges, but to me, if you have the range, then you're going to capture more buyers because let's say someone set up on a search up to $650,000. If you priced it just at 675, then all of a sudden those people, it doesn't come up in their search, they're not aware of it. And a lot of times buyers can pay more than, this, than they're set up on a search. So to bring as many qualified buyers into your property as possible, have a range that crosses over. And so it's a really good question and there's no right answer, but that's my opinion on this particular subject. Yeah, you've hit all of the points and I totally agree with you. So thank you for being here and answering the question today. Thank you. Yeah. That was Chad Basinger with San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week.